Hey, I'm Alex, and here are some behind the scenes from recreating leaves from the vines to live action. I took some behind the scenes I already did for my old TikTok and put them together. I also added some bloopers at the end. I want to recreate this scene from the Avatar Last Airbender. I thought it would be amazing to make this into in live action. Here's day one. I have to make Iroh's costume. I have no experience in making costumes. I went to a thrift store and bought the stuff I need. Went to my grandma's house to help me make it. She is an expert at sewing. She cut the blankets and sheets and sew them onto the shirt. My grandpa will be Iroh. I got him watching the scene and memorized the script. He even cried at this scene. Back to the costume. Looking good so far. The pants was a little challenging to do, but it turned out well. Now to assemble them all together. I got the hat from a store. Wow. This looks really good. The costume is finally done. Took 7 hours to make. Follow for more behind the scenes and the journey of making this light action film. This is going to be challenging but I'm sure this will turn out amazing. Tomorrow I'm going to make the city. Day 3 of filming. I helped my grandpa with the script. He struggled with some words. He's getting there. Just need more practice. I added grass with a wind effect. Now for the tree. What in the world is going on? Fix after 30 minutes. Look real nice. Now for leaves falling effect. It shouldn't be too hard. This is the most Why complicated simple no tutorial video for my to do. After 3 hours I finally got it. Cool. The bridge felt empty. Let's add a train. This is the train from the show. Made the exact replica. Not really. It looks awful, but you can't tell from afar, especially when it's in high quality. This space looks empty. Let's add something. Yep. This one. Looks okay. Might add more detail later. That's it for day 3. Unreal Engine is driving me insane. Follow for more behind the scenes and watching me suffer. Day 4 of filming. Time to make this set. I asked my cousin to draw the photo. It looks amazing. Now to print it out. Wow it looks like the original photo. There it goes. Time to cook the paper. First you need a touch of coffee, then a little bit of boiling water. Gently stir them together, and nicely pour the sauce onto the paper. Amazing. Preheat the oven to 200 and let it sit for 5 minutes. Well look at that. Smells amazing. And lastly a bit of salt pepper and a touch of olive oil. Beautiful. Now for this thing. 3D model. 3D print. Wait for 4 hours. Go out, and eat and help him with the script again. Looks nice but it needs paint. Good thing my little brother is a professional. Looks great. The heat from the blower melted the print, but looks better. I made the train look a lot better. Day 4 is done. Follow for more behind the scenes. Alright, day 5 of filming and it's raining in Florida. Oh look, a rock. Clean rock. Alright, let's make a bag and it looks like this. Bam. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh look, my blue screen came today. Finally. Now to actually start filming. Alright, now we're ready to film all the scenes that we need. The first few shots were like really easy to do because they're just very simple movements. We did have to redo some stuff, but it worked out well. But since he's a professional, we got through this pretty easy. That rock is pretty heavy though. This part took a little longer than usual. This actually looks really good. It looks really close to the show. The sticks were a little annoying though, but it worked. Alright, time for a break. I'm hungry. We only got two shots left, but we need to practice more with the script. We've been practicing for like three days already, but that's alright. We'll just finish the filming tomorrow and I'll just edit everything all together. That's it for day five. Follow for more behind the scenes. Day six of filming and we're finally finishing up the last two shots of this film. It took about two hours to finish the last two shots, but we finally made it through. We even added teardrops in his eyes to make him look like he was crying. And there he is, just listen to his own voice, see what he thinks. We finally finished filming all the scenes that we need and everything went smoothly. Now to get back home and edit everything all together. But before I edit, I have to catch up with all my schoolwork since I haven't done anything for a few days. Well, that's it for day six. Follow for more behind the scenes. Alright, day 7 of filming and it's time to get back to work. Just gotta drag this here and it doesn't work. I'm done using Unreal Engine. It's just too complicated, it's just driving me crazy. I'm just gonna switch back to Blender. But that means I have to start all over again. Oh boy.
First, I made three simple houses. I went to Photoshop to create the details on the side of the houses. Gotta make it low quality so my computer doesn't blow up. Then I just copy and paste and add them everywhere. Next, I made a hill where I put the actor on. I'm not going to make a tree, so I just looked up online and placed it done. Now for the bridge, I plan out where I'm gonna place them. And next, I copy and paste a whole lot of them and make a curve. This is a lot of time. Bam, the bridge is done. Now to place houses everywhere that the camera sees. So hopefully, my computer does not break. Houses are done. Now for the palace, I just found a cool one online. I just made the support for make it look tall. Wow, look at that. Add a little more houses around the palace. And now for the wall, very simple. Just made a long and nice support. Looks great. All right, that's good enough. I'll work on it more some other time. Here's day eight of behind the scenes. Let's go. I got some cool plugins that made the sky and trees look realistic. I fixed up the wall just by making the supports a little skinny. Now for the train. Same way how I made it before, but this time I used the palace roof instead. Next, I added my actor in the scene and animate the camera and the tree. For the train, I just animated going forward. Easy. Added small details on the ground of the palace and added more house around it. Time to make a particle of leaves falling. Done. I decided to redo the houses and make the roof better, so I repeated the process and copy and paste them everywhere. I used the old houses far away since you can't see the details and to save my computer. That's it for day eight. This is just the beginning. I can't wait to finish this. I have a lot of work to do, but hopefully I can finish this at the end of the month. Follow for more behind the scenes and see the final result. Oh no, hurricane. Anyways, day 9 of filming. I got EOPS to continue working. I did a lot of rendering. Took a long time to do. Well, look at that. The grass looks a lot better. Did more renders. Each render took about 3 to 6 hours. Sometimes I had to redo them. Finally got all scenes render. Took over 6 days. Now I have all clips together. Time to edit everything. Never mind. The power went out. Ups won't last forever. That's it for day 9. Follow for more behind the scenes. Show it and then drop it. Perfect. Don't forget, show the box, show the box. No! <laughs> you, you don't do it like that. Perfect. And the box. Show. <laughs> you forgot to show the box. <laughs> oh my god. And action. You gotta like drop it like that. Inside the eyes? Yeah. See, you put the hot pepper in the eyes, you're crazy, man. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. That one? Yeah. Happy birthday, my son. If only I can help you. No! Oh, fuck, the on. water was like right here. I'll lean so slow like that. What? Ah, oh, you fucked him up. Ponle los sentimientos, cariño. A ver, ven, decirme. A ver, ven. Para que veas que no es fácil. No, el sentimiento no lo pone. Pues no lo tengo. Tienes que tener feeling. Mira, ven para acá, a ver, dime cómo. A ver, dame unas clavecitas. Si es muy fácil ver los tonos de lejos. <laughs> Let it to the okay? I'll show the movie, but I'll see if I can do it. Like, fragile, tiny shell. <laughs> no! Yeah. Why? I don't...